Guarded tightly by Whalen. Nice move, but Harding couldn't finish. And McCarville is averaging on godly 16 plus rebounds per game in the tournament. Ripped down another. She thinks the key is to make sure the rest of the cast doesn't get 15, 16, 17 points. The floor with three turnovers. And Beard misses another. McCarville. But there's the back cut. McCarville comes over, makes a little bit of a tough shot, and then still able to get the presence of mind to get on the weak side, get the board, and Beard takes a rest. Elena Beard is going to be the United States Basketball Writers Association National Player of the Year. Theme for the game. McCarvel and Dense Chillis. Some of that shot. The shoot from out there all night. Jessica Foley missed another short one. It certainly looks as though Duke is feeling the pressure here in the first seven and a half minutes. State to win the first ever national championship for Duke. Wailing off a beautiful feed from McCarville. Tell you that that's why McCarville is so good. Not only does she give you a good passer, but she's aware that she's got to make herself an option and make herself visible to the person in the trap. Good basketball IQ by McCarville. So what does McCarville do? She steps up, then she looks opposite. Whalen goes back door. You want to handle a trap, get it into a six foot two who can look over defenders and is excellent with the ball in her hands. We talk about the athleticism of Whalen. Not many in the women's game could catch that ball in midair and shoot it all in one motion. True, very good point. Air balls, leading the Duke coaches to think maybe that hand is affecting her shooting. Another rebound for McCarville, her eighth here in the first 12 plus minutes. And it's Anderson for the Golden Gophers. Uh, what was impressive about that sequence, McCarville challenged without fouling. Earlier in the tournament, when the Timberwolves and the Golden Gophers were head to head on Minneapolis television, it was double the rating for the Golden Gophers. They averaged 9,700 fans per home game at Williams Arena this year. Lindsey Whalen's freshman year, they averaged 1,000 fans per home game and won eight games, won eight and 20. Somehow resonates with the people in Minnesota. They love the University of Minnesota. Inside the Curry, and it rolls off. In the Sweet 16 against Louisiana Tech, the tire season high. McCarville too strong off the glass, then beat two. Blue Devils for the rebound, and she'll have a chance for three. I have never seen a woman this size sort of revel in her size. Yeah, they call her Shaq, and he seems to enjoy physically dominating. So does she. The quick turn gets baseline, takes some contact, good no call and somehow in the midst of all those white jerseys able to get it and score it. And yes, ma'am, we see you. I've not seen a better women's basketball post player this season. How about that line in the regional semifinals two days ago? Seven double doubles in a row, 16 for the year to lead the Big Ten. She had a triple double in their quarterfinal loss in the Big Ten tournament against Ohio State. Coach Jim Foster, the great Ohio State coach, said it was one of the great performances in the history of intercollegiate basketball, and that's not a man prone to overstatement. Mm -hmm. But continue. Tell us, part of it's the shot selection. There's a tough fadeaway with plenty of time on the shot clock. Pushing her up to that mid-post area. Good job again. Nice pass by McCarville. And the finish by Jamie Broback. The freshman with her first bucket. Carville. To Shomrock, and there's a three for Shannon Shomrock. And another assist for McCarville. That is four now. She may have that triple double here in the first half. Duke had 12 rebounds in the first half. McCarville had that many herself for Minnesota. Mm, troubling statistic the 8 of 29 shooting. A lot of that had to do with the shot selection. And McCarville has proven to be a force, and we've only played about two minutes here in the second half. Here's Perry. Down for Bass, McCarville broke it up. Two it was 10 for Minnesota in the first half. The margin seven, three minutes deep in the second half. Bolden puts it back to a 10 point lead. She played just 10 minutes in the first half due to two fouls. So I just want to take a look at this. You're going to get the entry pass into the post, and then the, this person is going to make the cut. She's going to relocate. So Curry turns her head. There's a little screen by Anderson. Bolden relocates. And that's exactly what you want to do. I mean, if somebody's doubling and the defender loses a shot, that's really unorthodox. She does not have the guide hand on the ball. Just a one-hand shot. Meanwhile, she went off at the halftime. We've got to get back to our motion off. That's pretty fast. 
Beautiful pass by Whale in the Matar Bay. Seven games and a lot of practices. Beard, a tough shot. Curry, and you can see McCarville not going after the rebounds like she did when she piled up 12 in the first half because of those five. Another beautiful fade by Whalen. It's time to Anderson, and the lead for the Gophers back to six. Look at this. She's been the most dominating player on the floor, and now they're going to have to be without her presence. This is eight straight double-doubles now for McCarville. 11 points, 14 rebounds, five assists. You wonder what those numbers might be were not for the four fouls. Missed the second one, McCarville inside position. Missed the layup. Out of bounds, off the leg of Hunter. McCarville, one on one, goes right around Hunter and lays it in. That's big time, folks, the quick turn. You don't think her foot speed is up to that. She loves to quick turn you, and particularly going baseline. That's her tendency. In this NCAA turn. And the look away pass to Roland. Been the best player in the NCAA tournament, and it's not even well, I should say it's close to Simone Augustus, but what we've seen, she has been sensational. Well, she's had a double double in every game, and then she throws in six, seven assists. The last game, seven block shots, a six point lead, and a timeout called by Duke with 2.13 to go. Now she's looking one way, drop pass behind her. That is just pretty. That is so pretty. 23 for the senior Whalen. Beard trying to answer. McCarvo hammered with the rebound. She'll go to the line with 47.8 left. Boy, the Shaq comparison is accurate. She just dominates with that body. It doesn't look like there's a white jersey around her. Beard needs it, doesn't get it. McCarvo snatches the rebound away and is fouled by Jessica Foley. With 25.6 to go, rebound number 18 of the night for Janelle McCarville. Has she had a tournament? 19.17 rebounds in the first round against UCLA, 15 and 18 against Kansas State in round two, 25 and 15 in round three against Boston College with seven block shots and four steals, 16 and 18 tonight, and six assists and was on the bench a while with four fouls. And it's all going her way. Well, you know what, Son, I have said the last time we had it, the last game, just we said, I have not seen a better post player this season. I'm trying to figure out if, there, if there's been a post player like her. Now, Ann Donovan had great size and was dominating, but a longer, leaner frame. McCarville with the shoulders and the physically imposing body. 